wonderful people, welcome back to Patience Blog. My wonderful people, you guys know that Queen May Edoche is our queen. And AY Comedy is one of the persons that has solidly supported our beautiful Queen May. He has been a huge support system from the beginning of the whole basketball, the saga, the drugs coming from you, you, you. To the lens that this person, AY don't chop with Oto because of you, 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 because of his, um, because he believes AY's support is one of the reasons why May Edoche blows him, okay? So today, there's a lot of uh, questions coming from AY. May Edoche did an interview with AY and there, May spoke. She even messaged our community like, May Nations, we that are the warriors of May Yul Edoche, <laughs> that anyone that comes for her, that we will give the person of Bongay and Pokilicious Woto Woto Promise. Um, on this news, okay, you need to hear. I want you guys to listen to you what AY I see. personally see you as a woman of substance and listen. integrity. Yes, okay. and um, it comes with a lot. So now this is me asking you, how do you manage the pressure to maintain a public persona and at the same time, you know, dealing with personal challenges? Having a positive mindset is key for me. I embrace authenticity yes so no fake life mm. so i am not no fake life to conform to any societal you know pressure pressure yes mm. very I good i really don't have to maintain any kind of flawless lifestyle mm. <coughs> that's deep so you're not in the school of thought of um, fake it until you make it no, no, never no. you're already made so i feel not a fake. fake there's nothing to fake <laughs> at all <laughs> So then again, I try to maintain consistency. Is that and, um, I know where to draw the line yes. between personal and um, my personal life and work. And I do not take my personal issues to social media. We know. I have to keep my mental health in check. Yes. And mm -hmm. lastly, I have <laughs> I have this big support. Yes, but uh, we're here. My family and friends are always there for me when I need them. And then my own life family. family. <laughs> my own life family members. <laughs> mm, no, no, you don't, you don't, you don't need to tell me about your online family members. I mean, they're they're solid. They're yeah, solid. They are readily available. Readily. You know? <laughs> I need them. Readily yes. available. I be like you when I grow. Oh, really? You already grown now. <laughs> already. So they're always there. You know, mm. they're like a pillar. They are reliable. Yes. They are dependable. Yes, we are here. They're ready to give it to you to yes. anyone who. Who chooses to display? In other words, you have the basketball sensitivity. Team. No, no, not basketball. You know. Okay, what? Well, explain. If, if, you, if you choose to exhibit your insensitivity, when it gets overboard, hmm. we will come for you. Come for you. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> I want you to tell me a bit about your influencing journey wow, my and queen. the brand that you represent. Uh -oh. In fact, let me shock you. Start here. <laughs> How do you mean here? On the media. Yeah. Not in the glass house, but where the glass house is. Oh, it started from a wise place. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Of course, Miss Yanis can care. Wow. That's the first one. <laughs> yes. And that was um, Ayomide's child dedication. Dedication, I remember. Yes, mm -hmm. I was here as a guest and I saw Miss Yano. I approached her and... Mm -hmm. The conversation kicked off. Yes. Wow. My journey as an influencer, yeah. um, it's interesting and inspiring considering the circumstances that's, that's around, the around me at that time when I started. Oh. My job as an influencer doesn't end with just a post on my platforms. Mm -hmm. I'm overjoyed. I'm satisfied yeah. when there is conversion. When you go, you go in and you go in real deep yeah. to mm -hmm. make sure that the brand is uh, well represented out there. Of mm. course, as a matter of fact, I give them my expertise and wealth of knowledge mm -hmm. in, in business. What did you study? Uh, 
Computer science and engineering. Computer science and engineering. My God! It's, it's, it's quite a distance from what you're doing right now. I know. If you want to go technical and all of that. The technicalities of marketing, you also understand. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I have been involved in business, in marketing. Computer for a very long science time. and okay. engineering. Yeah, so, right from my secondary school days, I've been involved in one business or another. So, I bring my expertise, you know, my world of knowledge into their businesses. I help them in their day to Today running wow. business. Wow. You know, we come up with marketing strategies yeah. and all of that. That's mm. when I get satisfaction. It's not about well, that's what I've made your post. That's what it takes. You give it your all in all to to make it uh, a successful one. Yeah. Okay. I haven't listed my brands. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so there's Missiano Skincare. Missiano yeah. Skincare. All right. <laughs> there's Hourglass Fashion World. Yes. Almost World of Glamour. Yeah. There's Annie's Enhanced Beauty Products. Yeah. There's L'Oreal Dera Perfumes. Okay. There's Fire Jean, Xander's mm -hmm. Key Things, um, Gucci Mates. Yeah. yeah. She what cannot even remember all of them. I can see you. Mm -hmm. And more, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even remember. Uh, let me apologize in advance. <laughs> Well, you're big, you're big, I <laughs> beg. Big, I beg. Now, with your recent involvement in movies, can we not call you an actor? Um, I got this call <laughs> some time ago from wow. Amoni Oboli's production yeah. for Wives on Strike. The but then they uprising. call them. Yes, yeah, so I was to promote the movie. Mm -hmm. So we got on the set to shoot the promotional ad and <laughs> well, <laughs> laughing. Suddenly. suddenly everything was fantastic the set i was wild like it was a big production you know the crowd the the equipment and everything so yes. we did the ad you know i had to beat a drum i think you saw it yeah, yeah we saw it, it was now different very you know, beautiful. Took me out of, let me say, like my comfort zone. It was something different. I had never something done. Something out of the box. Yes, exactly. So I had to drum. That yeah. Was my first time really drumming. Wow. And I didn't have to practice it. They just said drum anything. I started, and the beat, the rhythm, everything just the flow it was flowed good. Yes. Naturally. <laughs> so the transition from the Hausa Yoruba to Hausa to Igbo, everything was just flowing so, I mean, as a queen a that you are. The time. Yes, and mm -hmm. you know, everybody was there, there was this huge crowd, they were cheering, they were applauding, and you know, so it came out really nice. And then before I accepted the collaboration, because it was Omani that posted it and yeah. she collaborated me, before I got online to accept it, it was everywhere. The first few minutes, I don't know, immediately it hit one, one million views, oh, views and all of that. It was everywhere. So people were talking about it. It was so good. It was this, it was that. Uh, they were like, ah, they need to see me in the movie that my delivery was on point. Hey, you know, hey, I saw hey, hey. At that point in time, you were not I even was in not film. in the film. I was not in the movie. But later I you had to call me. There to promote the oh, movie as an influencer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but later and you... That automatically got you a role, I guess. Yes, the interesting thing is that hey. the already had a date in yes. the cinemas. It was a concluded job. It was done. Hey. And when it came to me, I got a call. Me, where are you? She had to come <laughs> into Nigeria. She came in from Canada. Yeah. Me, where are you? I only have a few days here in Nigeria. Nobody knows I'm coming. Uh -huh. I need to see you. Okay. Tell me where you are. I will find you. Hey, whoa. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then I was on set. I was shooting an ad. Yeah. And uh, we finished quite late. And she got to me. Mm -hmm. um, we met at a fast food restaurant. And she was just on and on and on and on. She wow. Said, I don't know how you're going to do it. You cannot tell me no. I said, oh, morning, for the past two years, I've gotten scripts. I've gotten movie roles. She rejected and all. people are willing to pay. Mouth <laughs> she rejected it. You know, producers have been calling, directors have been calling. Um, some people farming their faces, so they have called and I have rejected everything. I said, yeah. I don't want to be an actor or an actress. You know, I know that I am this kind of um, jack of all trade, trade kind of person. Oh, 
kind of person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, there's a whole lot of things that I can do only if I set my mind to it. You fit teeth. Uh-uh, please, please. <laughs> Confusion or controversies or anything. So I just wanted to stick to my influencing and all. So I rejected. There's no month that I don't get movie roles. No month. Yeah. So this one was very, very special for you. Yeah, so she said, there's no way out. You just have to do it. I don't know what you have to do. At whatever it takes, you have to come on board. Mm. And then... I told you I have this strong community. Yes, so we are here. Bay Nation. Bay Nation. Yes. Movers and shakers. Movers and shakers. They have the power. Yes, so. They have, oh, they do. They do. So they were already on and on. They're going to buy tickets. They want to sponsor tickets. They want people to go and watch. Even if they're not in Nigeria, they don't care. They just want to sponsor. And that they have to see me in the movie. They cannot. That is how we roll. That is how we roll. You know what? How do I get out of this now? If I'm not in that movie, they're going to crucify me. And um, <laughs> they even told her that if we do not see Queen May in that movie, mm, <laughs> I <will> be. <laughs> they gave her a warning, you know. <laughs> so I had to like consider and I said, okay, no problem. As long as I do not have, I don't want a lot of roles, you know, um, a lot of scenes rather. Yeah. So she said, it's okay. We'll see what we can do. They had to create something for me from a concluded a movie that was submitted already that had a date that's what happened when you're a star that's hey! <laughs> hey, why don't so you need to talk something and that was how i got into the movie yes oh my goodness so in other words right now we can call you an actor because um, as a matter of fact i'm gonna say this to you guys i saw that as well we have been having conversations prior to that concerning movie productions and what have you. Uh, so guys, if you want to see your Queen May, mm -hmm. you go and see Wives on Strike. Please don't go on strike. Mm -hmm. But yes, go to people, Not just for wives, mm -hmm. for everybody. <laughs> everybody. So go and see it. Thereafter, of course, you know that the waiter is coming. So, so Queen May also like, is uh, there. You knew you were not going to tell me no. I was shooting an ad remember i, told I you. remember i came from that mm -hmm. to <laughs> only it was to just, find it out was, it was very impromptu and mm -hmm. i commend you for that thank you yeah uh, for me that's respect you had the opportunity or the right to say that i mean you can't do this but you you came through so thank you very much so guys mm -hmm. you're gonna be seeing your very beautiful and only queen may in the waiter Yes. Coming soon. So we all know that um, when you find yourself in the social media space or the public space, so to speak, um, mm -hmm. you can just wake up one day to any form of attack. Yes, I yes. don't know if you've experienced it. Oh, uh, multiple, multiple times. times we may have you just wake up to you know any form of. Sometimes yeah. you don't even know where it's coming from. We may have experienced it. And so many a times you don't even see it coming. Now this is me asking: Have you faced any form of oh. criticism? Multiple How times. Did you handle it? Multiple you times. Be on the social media space mm -hmm. um, and not be dragged. Don't expect things like this. Exactly. Everybody would never support what you do. Exactly. Everybody would never like you. Exactly. You can never be one hundred. <laughs> yes. So constructive criticism is fine. It's okay. It's welcome, but not when you're always negative or try to portray the negative aspect of something or someone even if there is none you find a way yeah, to bring up negativity yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so for me um i do not pay attention to those very good focus. especially when i when i know that i am not guilty of whatever it is yes. i do not have the time i'm too busy Ow. to pay attention to those oh, 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 oh. and then also i understand that Many people are there just to draw traction. Exactly. Like you watch this course. On their pages, on their yeah. platforms, and all of that. So mm. why will I worry myself yes, see, see, to go and respond? This, sorry, sorry to cut you. Now that you're saying this, I'm feeling bad for myself. Because, because you responded I many times. I used to be that very, very emotionally freak human. No, they don't need to. Freak in the sense that, you know, things like that gets to me. And... The tendency to want to respond, no reply, defend myself. No and then, at some point in time in life, I just realized that the more you try to come and defend yourself or correct someone, somebody is still going to, you know, poke a hole somewhere 
and make it look like they will even turn whatever you're saying against, against me. I'm you. I'm the victim of it, but now I've learned. I've learned that yes, a lot of people just want to, you know, see you go down. I walk around the clock. I walk 24/7. Sometimes I have this belief that 24 hours is not even enough. Sure. There are things I would just say tattooed, and you know, it can be stressful. So for you as a lady, what what is that routine, you know, that you have developed to combat stress? Wow. I pray. Oh, prayer. That's prayer. Prayer. Actually, yes. Okay. You know, I I have this quiet time when it gets overwhelming, you know. So I find this quiet moment with my maker. Yes. It helps me. I talk to him. Yes. In fact, sometimes I'm like, oh God in heaven. You brought mm -hmm. this to me. It's a blessing. There's no way you're going to give me some. And I talk to my favorite persons. That works a lot. Yes. I mean, that came with a smile. Yes, <laughs> now. By the way, you want to tell us? My favorite persons, everyone on earth has, has one or two people that they talk to. Of course, yes, I know. Yes, I'm just yes. teasing. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, me being the brand ambassador for Bislim Gallery, mm -hmm. um, they have a spa, you know, so that made me realize that going to the spa could help you a great deal reduce stress. You know, there was a time I thought I was ill. I actually called my doctor. I was coming to the hospital. I booked an appointment. And then my sister called that she needed this spa treatment or whatever. So I was like, okay, let me take you to Bislim. That is my own brand, the brand that I represent. Okay. And when we're done, I'll go to the hospital. We got there and they were like, why don't you have a deep tissue massage? I'm the brand ambassador, so I didn't well, have to. And pay. it was it wasn't an issue to get a deep <laughs> tissue massage. <laughs> hey, you're the rhyme fire. Okay, go ahead. That's so after the session, uh, uh, I, I don't know what happened. It, it was vanished. I'm telling you, transformation. Wow. <laughs> I actually had you know all those symptoms of illness. You know, you think maybe you have malaria or something. I had to call the doctor. I said, no, Bex. So. so are you trying to tell us <laughs> that this, this, this spa is, is a choosing? <laughs> it's a choosing. It's a choosing. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, oh, so. wow. <laughs> No, so with that, I was able to realize that going to the spa could help a, a lot, a lot, yes. So those are the three things that I do. I talk to my favorite people. I go to the spa. And then I pray. Yeah, I, I mean, communicate with my maker. It's a wonderful interview, as in seeing our queen speak for the very first time, like talk about how she managed to get into that wife's on strike and Queen May acknowledging her lovers, her warriors on the media space made me feel so good. Oh, yes. You know, AY has really been a huge support system. Remember when Queen May traveled with uh, Missiano Skincare and AY to um, the UK, that was when I started to really, really have the strong respect for AY. Yes, because he's been a huge support system. Him and the cute Missiano Skincare. You know, I always tell you guys, a cute Missiano Skincare is the person that really opens the influencing uh, door for our Queen, Queen May, that made our Queen May to become a Syria brand influencer. Omar, this is a wonderful interview. And our beautiful Queen May even went to the length to say that she do not react to uh, uh, those that are dragging her, that she has us to do the work, you get. And she also said that most of them do it just to gain traffic on their platform, which is the truth, you know? And AY also see reasons with our beautiful Kumi and be like, oh, if really I knew, I wouldn't have even support, I wouldn't have even uh, reacted to some of those persons. They do, they do do it. Oh. A lot of them do it. They will just face you just because they want to get traffic on their platform. It is quite so amazing to see that Queen May has gotten to the level that she is today. Imagine she was supposed to just be uh, an influencer, as in, to just in, as in, you know, promote that uh, wife's on strike. But now, she is an actor. Hi, they be you now. Did you work with someone around the cohorts? I'll mark it. <laughs>
I debut una now. You don't see and say Queen May Edoche is now an actor. <laughs> and that happens because many nations wanted it to happen. You know, I always say this that we have great persons in this very May Nation movement. We don't just support Queen May with our mouths. Just come and be talking. Mm -mm. We do it also. Money speaks. And we see when money talk, nonsense they happen. <laughs> this is so amazing. So, guys, this interview is one of the, the most interesting one I have watched because this is the very first time I see my queen talk really, really personally about herself. It makes so much sense. And I know this can only come through the Macons because the Macons are the ones that really helped our queen May see cute Messiano skincare and her family, you know, both AY. Remember when May was in the UK, AY got so much drags coming from some persons you know why because they believe ay has that platform yes ay has nine i mean i think it's 14 million so uh, followers on instagram so ay is as big as you can imagine imagine so if such a person would help as, as in push me to you know to move like come to a, come to his show in the uk you know cute missiano skincare giving uh may that mm -hmm. um uh, chance to showcase her specialties her specialties that she has inside on the media space and that has taken her to the peak today ah what do you expect i expect may will definitely go for such interview that you just watched although this is not all of the interview you can go watch the remaining of it on ay uh, platform so guys, I will leave it here. Like, share. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Patience Blogs Official. Thanks for watching. Bye, people.